Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. Today we're doing Miasmata, a game that uh, is pretty well known for a while. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's kind of because it... I've always thought that it was kind of ahead of its time. It was very taxing on early graphics cards. Now, we are going to uh, start off from the beginning here. Uh, I'll be honest, I want to record this video once, and the game glitched, so... <laughs> that happens every once in a while during a Let's Play. I'm letting you all read this on your own, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll read it to you. Wake on the shores of a mysterious island. My, uh, our name is Robert Hughes in this. <clears throat> you know, come to the island and exile man, a traitor and betrayed. I do wish you'd let us. Uh, you are suffering from a plague, a disease from which you will soon die. This island is home to a research outpost, a conclave of enlightened men searching for a cure. Discover the cure and survive. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, this is a game that has survival elements, and you could call it a survival game, but it's not one where you will craft food, armor, Instead, you will research and try to craft a cure. And the cure is made up of three smaller cures that will help you immensely. Um, you will also craft medicine to keep your fever down. And you will need to worry about water. Now, this is your basic. I don't need this. Um, you can check your health here. Uh, I believe one of the two mouse ones, there it is, will let you get a bearing on your direction and time of day, and I think that is very cool. We're going to follow this path. When you start to follow the path, uh, hopefully this game is not lagging for you guys. Um, don't have the graphics cranked all the way up. Like I said, the one flaw of the game is that it wasn't optimized as well as, well as it could have been. So it became quite taxing on uh, old graphics cards. Nowadays, if you guys find this thing on sale, there's really little reason not to add it to your library. It's kind of an unspoken gem. Uh, it's the first game like it that I've seen where you literally have to try and use synthesis and research. Look, he was a backstabber, but I'm, sh I'm not going to grab the knife for now because I'll have an opportunity to grab a knife later. This is the first lab you will come across and it is very valuable. You actually want to remember this red house here. I can't call it house. Uh, this specimen storage bin is kind of like your backpack without wearing a backpack, your inventory without an inventory. This is where you will store things that are shared across all of them. Um, why? Because magic kind got explained shit. Now, realistically, it's just, I think, the way they decided to have the game. Now, examining is how you learn the properties of things. Synthesizing is how you will make things. Read the instructions for both when you start. Read them at your own leisure. You basically get the gist of it. And then we're going to say the game we are being watched, it says. Uh, and that is true. Uh, I'm not really spoiling anything by telling you all this, but let's just say you have bigger worries than just a simple, uh, than just a simple creature. Uh, actually, than just a simple play, you have a creature to worry about, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell you much about the creature, but we'll discover it as we play it. If we should encounter it, you'll hear your character's heartbeat race faster, and you have to duck down and hope to God the thing does not see you. Um, it is damn near invisible, but it isn't invisible. 
You'll see what I mean. I see this is why you do the research. I also really like the hand-drawn art here for this. Um, so you are a scientist who gets to do sciencey things in this, which makes this game, in my eyes, pretty unique. It doesn't really matter what tray you slap this in. I do not believe. Um, that of them. We're making some medicine early that we can take. I like that he's like, okay, see what I did? Do you see? So we'll take this. Now, basic medicine is your cure all for migraines, which your character suffers from uh, having a fever. These are a lifesaver, literally. They will save your life in this game. So you will want to visit them whenever you can visit them. Um, and refill your canteen. Fresh water, sleep, and I believe more sleep will help you. Uh, now, we're going to grab this. Synthesize this as well. Okay, actually, we're gonna research it first and do, let's do this proper. I wanna be uh, I'm gonna sing the Air Force Ranger song. One thing that bummed me out is that this game never had a sequel of any kind or, uh, that when it was finished it never received any further updates. I really thought this game was kind of a yeah, extra strength medicine. So before you leave guys, you want to grab yourself a normal and an extra strength medicine. So what we're going to do now is go grab the other flower, synthesize some of this, and just so it easy now, you have two plants that will give you two doses of medicine. If you get really banged up, you want the extra strength. Either one's good and better than nothing. Uh, so you will want to use them. I can't have a festival motor like that. I have a few recipes that... Uh, for tinctures and, well, not tinctures, but uh, for oils and different, basically, uh, things like chicory, things like that, how to crush them and use them for tea and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to plan ahead here as well. We're going to plan ahead at least grabbing the basic. We don't want to grab everything, but we want to at least grab a basic here. And I believe there are a few other flowers that can help us make basic medicine, but you're certainly going to want to up your chances of survival at every single turn. Water you can drink will have this. And as I said, you want to drink water when you can drink water. Um, a few sips ought to do it. You'll notice if the color uh, on your screen literally does not look vibrant anymore. Uh, your character will start shaking. He will have all sorts of symptoms of sickness. So you will be careful of that. This is super important. Now this game has one feature that I really wish other games had done. And that is triangulation. And I'll show you all what I mean about that right now. I get it. Okay, so you see the map where we are. We're going to use this. One line. We're going to use this two line uh, uh, uh. and we are going to uncover bam more of the map 
Now, we can repeat this process. Say there. And if you want to get bold, I guess it's not bold, so what? Deal with it. Um, nothing new is found. Now, if you find a new thing that is not on your triangulation map, you may go and do something as simple as adding it in by using two known points, and then it becomes the unknown point. However, I will tell you all, you must do this more than once. You do it once, then you do it from another angle, and that triangulation becomes the, uh, the thing, the, the point of interest. Uh, one reason I'm doing this triangulation stuff now is because one, we're in good enough help to, and two, believe me when I say I am not messing with you, triangulation is super, super important in this game. It is how you will discover new things, chart new po points on your map, and you will not find shit without it. So triangulate everything. Everything. Everything you can. Um, you will see me doing this in this game as much as possible. And I apologize if it's boring right off the bat, but uh, fucking get over it. Please. You'll want to do this. That's cast a pretty wide net right there, that one. So we're going to do two more. And then move on. We're doing one wall. And we're going to do the other wall here. Uh, but the idea, basically, is that you want to be aware... Yeah, I'll say it. Of the surrounds. At all times. I like that I laughed at my own joke. Good lord, I'm a dork. Um, you want to be aware of your surrounds at all times here, guys, basically. Again, water. Water is needed. And water is something that you should be focused on. Now, you're going to start to see your first series of unknowns uh, up ahead, actually. You also get a few notes on triangulation. I just showed you all how to do it. Um, but most people don't start triangulating until they hit this area. It's not that you can't. I just prefer to start early. Get a head start on it. Um, uh, yeah, so you'll get notes on it. How to triangulate and how to add a new thing. Let's so see, you are here. Take out your map and compass, observe your surroundings. Uh, if such a landmark is also represented by the icon on your map, it's a known. Da, da, da. Now, the second one here is just going to teach you how to do. The unknown. So you see what I mean? Try to set landmarks that are not currently icons on your map. Draw lines to these unknown. Uh, Tell your map up to an advantage point. When you are drawn two distinct sight lines to a given unknown, its location will be revealed. So basically, you need to find something unknown and make it known. Um, and we will save it here, of course. You want to keep saving. Always be saving this game. And voila! I believe this is a no, that's a no. We're still going to draw a line to it. Again, we cast a wide nut here, probably too wide, but, you know, we're doing what we can. Um,
You will certainly see your unknowns. So, let's talk about your health. You want to be very careful with your health in this game, as I've said. Your character is, at best, a weakling and meek. And that's putting it nicely. Uh, he is just flat out a wuss. He is not very tough. He is not very good at what he is doing as far as his explorations. Now watch this. What? Unknown. What? Unknown. But you'll notice you can't draw a line of them. Why? What, what did we do wrong? Now this is what Papa's here to show you all today. So what we have done wrong is that while we have half listened to the guide, the guide does not do a good enough job in my mind of explaining this. Oh God. Alright. Gentle, gentle, baby. There we go. Look at baby's buttock. I'm just kidding. I'm not Podesta. Let's see here. So we're gonna use that. And we're going to try and... Look for anyone in the cabins. Uh, I don't know if I can see them through the rain. But you are getting the basic idea of these people. We need two points we can see. I can swear that one of these walls is down here somewhere. Unless I had gone that far off of there. By the way, I keep debating with somebody, uh, speaking of freaky, we were talking about the Blair Witch movie. There is a YouTube channel who concludes, in fact, that he has a film theory that in the Blair Witch movie, it is actually not even about a witch, but that the two guys themselves were just simply uh, trying to lure and murder Heather. So what do you guys think of it? Uh, you should check that video out if you haven't seen it. I'd be curious to know your thoughts on the theory. I had never considered it after watching that video. There are like five or six excellent points he makes that do make me go, Ooh, I don't know. I never, never thought of that. So, is it possible? I think it is possible. Is it probable? I don't know. This is the only annoying part of this game, is that sometimes you gotta find the sweet spot on, uh, on cartography, but then again, if you have a problem finding the sweet spot, you're gonna, you're gonna be quite alone, anyway, so. <laughs> you better get used to trying to find that thing. Anyways. That joke will go over some of your heads, but for those of you who get it. Uh, and yours truly is going to have one heck of a packed day today. So that should be very interesting. Uh, I believe I told you all that I start to see there's one line there that we have gone all the way up there to that. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Why? Dear God, you asked, because we want, like I said, to make everything as discovered as we possibly can. The more we know about on the map, okay, uh, boom. Now, neither of those are going to be immediately knowable. That's the shitty part. So what we have to do now is find two spots on a map where I can go. We're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go back here and start with Big Head. Because having the Big Head known is actually pretty good. Um, it gives you one distinct advantage, and that advantage is that as you travel along that coast, 
there are a few different things you're going to want known. And having the big ass head there, or big head as I call him, is important. So step one, let's get inside here again, shall we? I'm not really trying to wait off the rain because I don't advise you to try and do too much climbing or waiting with the rain. The guy is literally very, very weak. Uh, I cannot stress enough just how weak, but let's just say swimming across even a uh, river any happening for you. So. Technically, I should be ducking and creeping around, but I don't need to yet, because it is not around yet. You'll know. You'll know. But you see that there? It could have been a really bad tumble. And that would have left you where you would have had a fever, i.e. needed a fever medicine. Uh, when you don't have to rest, do not waste any daylight hour Explore everything, everything that you can. Uh, and if you cannot, okay. press your luck uh, when you can. I, I really cannot express enough how important it is, guys, for you all to be doing your car cartography in this game for everything. There's literally nothing there. Oh, a little, a little something got known. literally just doing jack shit with this, but what I'm looking for here is to see if I can fish out any extra spots that I do not have already marked because, yeah, there's one. Anything you don't have marked, man, anything you don't have marked, you want to make sure that you mark as soon as you can. Um, and yes, although it may sound harsh to tell you to get your guy's scrawny little ass out there and start this, it's got to be done, like, as soon as possible. Now you see there, I'm thirsty, because like I said, this guy's a weakling, so we're going to go and him drink some Wawa. Nighttime is not the right time for love in this game. Nighttime is a scary time. It's a dark time for you. You will not enjoy the dark times if this creature starts to get you. I'm going to check our health. Our health is okay so far. Um, save it often. Often. As often as you can. auto text to confirm a dinner reservation, so. Yes, it is yours truly's uh, anniversary. Six years, my friends, six years. So that is kind of exciting, I'm not going to lie to you. What do I owe it to you? Uh, honestly, communication. That's, that's the key. And everybody says that shit, but I really mean it. Communicate. Communicate. Uh, with the person you're best man. I don't care if you're gay, straight, guy, girl, whatever you are, puma. 
who, my gender, whatever. Uh, I really don't care. Just be cool with the person you're with. Talk to them. And, uh... Basically, you don't shit where you eat, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. All those things uh, are true. And by communicating with the person you're with, that's what you're going to do is make sure that you go and uh, don't overstep bounds, don't do things uh, disrespectfully. Honestly, some real talk for a moment, guys. Uh, I know I'm a bit older than some of you all here who watch my channel, but I tell you these little life lessons because I actually do give a shit. And because I didn't have anybody to tell me these life lessons, and I frankly wish I had. I'm kind of like your Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, but without the Rickyisms. Which probably isn't as thrilling. Rickyisms are pretty damn funny. Uh, what was one of my favorites? Uh, what goes around is all around is a good one. And it's not rocket appliances is a classic. Uh, if you all have no idea what I'm talking about, you really should watch the series trailer for boys. It's a Canadian show. If you're in the U.S., you're not going to understand uh, some of the humor. No, you'll get the humor. You may not get some of their food choices, I'll say. I think they like to do that we don't uh, necessarily like to make like cheese sandwiches are not a giant thing. At least not here in Michigan. Maybe they are. I know Philly cheesesteaks are a big thing in Philly, so, you know, I'm just saying. Potato, potato, all that stuff. Alright, yeah, so you don't want to swim too long there. That made me a little busy. I mean, I hope to God that's not a fever. Eventually you will get a fever. Um, regardless of what you do, your guy is just a, a bit of a little weakling and a little meanie, so... He's gonna get a fever eventually. If you start to see that, don't push your luck, guys. Don't push your luck. Be careful. I see you saw there, I'm, I'm trying to lean up against things. Now, earlier I said push your luck. Push your luck with your light hours. Don't push your luck with trying to be some acrobatic ear devil. This is not that guy, alright? He's not doing that stuff. He can't. Uh, and nothing good will come from you doing this. You'll just die quicker. So, don't be too good. Be smart about it. Keep adding points on your map. Keep traversing the map. Find new areas. Unlock areas on your map. See how you do. We are going to keep going. I don't remember which way is the correct way, frankly. So we're just going to kind of go uh, along the coast here. There are a few different ways to get to certain areas, if I remember, and there are quite a few different areas in this game. This game is bigger than you think it is, I will say that. Um, and I know that sounds just superficial and stupid, and I'm not going to lie, it is a bit, but it is also true. The game is bigger than you think it is. Now you see these two, that means I need to mark them one more time before they become objects on the map. So what I need to do is try and get to a vantage point where I can see both Big Head, there we go, the heck cabin, and I think maybe this is all I need to nail that uh, last stone there. Now we're doing this because you want the other Big Head on the map. And that sounds funny to say, because it is. Please let me add it. Oh, you fucker. Maybe I can add in the other thing, the tent. Would be good. Please? 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 Oh, yes. I got my sketches. Um. Who else, by the way, is really excited for that uh, dark crystal? 
prequel coming out on Netflix. I understand. Uh, I have a little info about it. Not much, but enough to, to wet your beaks. Proverbial beaks, if you will. And that is that apparently uh, it takes place before the incidents of the first Crystal movie. And so you will see Warrior Gelfling. Um, because they weren't all punk benches, you will see some warrior gelfling who are trying to protect an area um, from things like the Gartham threat and some of these other things like this the uh yeah basically look it's interesting this is gonna be fruitless to a degree but you'll see why I'm doing this because again, our focus here is big head. Come on, baby, that should have had enough of a vantage point. Did we get anything else? Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, shit. Now, of course, the sun is going down. I have exposed myself to the dangers of the wild. Great. Big head is still an unknown to me. I don't think I need to explain why I call him Big Head, and if I do, come on. Have a little humor, guys. This is one reason why I picked this bandage point, is because there are two actual little symbols down there that I can use, so... The idea is I need to get to a far enough vantage point, or a different vantage point. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. And I'm not the most comfortable with this normally, but dude, I do not like trying to do this at all. I don't know if that one's one of mine. No, it's not. So, there's Big Head. Come on, baby. Anything else? Anything else I have that I can... See, that's where having that Big Head dude on my map would have been good. Right there. I could have used him to mark that one. But, we can at least climb up this section. Don't you follow me, you son of a bitch. Climb on this section of the hill. Which we are going to do. Oh, two unknowns. Oh, oh, oh. Well, slap my ass and call me Sally. This is getting interesting. Don't really call me Sally or try to slap my ass. I will punch the shit out of you. Um, three. Alright, so, here's how we do this, guys. We're about to mark a bunch of shit on this map. One. Yoink. Two. Yoink. Boom. Come on, baby. Big head one. Down there. Oh, okay. The thirsty thing is not a joke. Okay. Um, now there's another reason why you'll see that I am not really trying to focus as much on some of this, and that is that I am trying very hard to basically ration out my supplies here. Uh, there really is no better excuse for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> is I'm just literally trying to ration the whole damn thing out. I, I was really hoping I would be able to kind of visually snipe that tent from far away. But that doesn't look like that's going to happen. That would have been a giant, giant help to be able to do. There's another big head. Um, and there's a big head over there. 
I don't think I can quite see him. So I need to climb up a little higher on this. And now with this done, and our power is united, we are Captain Planet. No, I'm just fucking with you, we're not really Captain Planet. How cool would that be? Well, let's be honest, that one person in Captain Planet totally got ripped off, did they not? Like, everybody else gets, like, fire, ice, water, they get hurt. I'm sure they're excited about that shit. Are you kidding me? You can shoot flames and shit? She can control the earth. I get a fucking heart. Thank you. Yeah. As if the game wasn't trying to show you you're fucked enough, then on top of it now, I'm in the dark. The creature is more active. Of course he is in the dark, because he wants to fucking kill me. Um, so there is that lovely notion as well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? You know who said that? An adventure. Nothing. So you can see there, we got a, quite a few things marked on our map now that we do not actively have. Uh, but again, I know you're all like, God, this is boring as shit to watch, but please bear with me. I promise you all. This will come full circle, start to get more exciting as we fill in the gaps. What we're doing right now is quite literally filling in gaps. Um, and as we play this game, we are going to try to do just that. My fucking tent is going to be a problem. I know. Oh, 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 where was it? Where was it, guys? Oh, all day circle around this bitch until I can find it again. Now that just means that I can't add that in because I need any vantage point. So that's fine. Boom. So I think now there is a new vantage point right there. That that thing there uh, is added in to my stuff. Please be true. Yes! Oh mommy. It happened. Never let me say I'm on me like that again. That is ridiculous and stupid. How dare you all. I get I'm chastising you all who have done nothing at all and are totally innocent. I apologize for being a dick. Um, but no, no. Reason one for doing that is going to be obvious. Finally you say to the to the uh to the bald man in your career. Um I'm still curious by the way, somebody again uh piqued my interest by saying that I looked Russian. I had never assumed this. But now that I ask people they say in my eyebrows I look Russian. Um I think it's the first Haiti video I did. I was I just shaved my head. It's one of the like three videos I don't wear a hat in. Yes, I do indeed have a shaved head full time, um, but I will tell you a secret that if you do not shave your head, you do not know, and that is that most guys I know that shave their heads do not shave their heads all the time. Uh, it's just too much of a pain in the ass to do, and two, you don't want to shave your head daily because not only razor costs, but stubble, you know, you don't want to deal with stubble. Um, as in, if I shave my head daily, it's never going to look as smooth as it will if I skip a day or two, let a little growth happen, and then shave it, you're going to be better off. Now, I have some choices to make, folks. Choice one, can I get to one of those cabins and sleep? That's where we're going to try to go. If I can find a branch, I can make a torch, and a torch is useful. So, let's try and find... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm not going to live if I am not careful here. 
is pure luck. And of course, during a live Let's Play, well, you all finally heard the other dog bark, so that is proof, I swear to you, that there really is another dog. You heard her bark, that's proof. Um, I wish she'd come on camera for you guys, because she is, uh, despite being a beast of a dog, she is adorable. She's just a really, really freaking big dog. Um, well, not big, big, but, you know, she's got the pit bull head, so... Her nickname is Rex Head. Um, because she does, she has, like, a T-Rex head, it's just giant and flat. But she is a very sweet dog. Um, we adopted her because we did not want to uh, go to a puppy mill. And that's not some hippie statement. I, I genuinely, if you look up genetics in dogs, dogs are getting mutated because they're being overbred to the point where their breeds don't even look like the breeds are supposed to anymore. Um, if you want to see a good example, look up the examples of even pets. Uh, look up examples of pugs. You will find crazy issues. In overbreeding with pugs, they have brain damage issues. Sometimes the brain barely fits in the skull. It's horrifying. Now, this is probably not going to be good news for me. Oh, I'm okay right now. The creature has not yet found me, and I don't like that. Well, I do like that, but I don't like that because I like to know where it is. I don't like to not know where it is. That makes very, very worrying. Um, where the fudge is a branch? It's so damn dark, I can't see my dong to pee. I can't see nothing on this pitch. We're literally flying blind here. So you click this. Statue. Laboratory. Map of Outpost Draco. Uh, there are paths. And you basically have your compass. Uh, I don't know where the hell I am on it, so here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to use... Okay, so I... Oh, it's late. It's it's definitely gonna be dark for quite a while. Uh, my guy's gonna need water in that time. He's gonna need some other things. So I have some serious choices. To, oh god. Oh, double. Oh, to make here. Let's see if we got the old Blade Runner magic, everybody. We're literally just going to wander and hope we find either a place or a stick that I can use as a torch. Yes, I think it is a stick. Yes, this will work for now to at least help me figure out uh, someplace I can go. Run your ass off. We need to get to a building. Any building at this point is better than no building. I feel like I'm in a, a bit of a danger zone because I think I know where I am and I think I'm in a swamp. And a swamp is not a place you want to be at night. Unless you are originally from the bayou. This is a weakling little scientist unprepared for such a trek or adventure. So we need to get his ass back to a nice cozy cabin bed for the night. Somewhere. Basically anywhere. Now we can triangulate my position. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't remember this happening in the original. I think this is actually a bug that I'm experiencing right now. This so, whole, like, in the dark only triangulation thing. I think in the original, you, you still got to. We're not, we're not triangulating jack shit right now, we're just going. <laughs> I'm not playing with this dark man. 
literally a wild effing beast out there that wants to maul me. I don't really feel like playing uh, Dora the Explorer while I could be dry humped by a creepy creature. Oh, shit. I am not anywhere near where I need to be. I can tell you that. There's a little mushroom here we're going to grab. Oh no, what is happening? Good! I want you to ignore that shit for now. There are worse things to worry about, like how the hell to get that little comfy bed instead of fucking spooky the forest owl here and stumbling around like a drunk man who said one too many Jägermeisters. Oh, this is not good, folks. This is not good. Yours truly is not very happy with this. Oh, the Bones is, is definitely not thrilled with this. Um, we seem to be at some sort of giant stone structure. My guy cannot hack it when it comes to running to this, jumping or whatever. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can find that tent that I thought I saw. Oh, oh! Alright, we're closer than we thought. Alright, great, 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 great. So, in a roundabout way, we have come full circle. We are back in, in the area we wanted to be at. Yes, guys, yes! And we are going to... Sleep of the evening. A very fastidious and lovely first day. Again, we're going to get some water. Water is very valuable as a resource. Basically, in this game, you do not eat. But you wouldn't want to anyway, all the food on the island is pretty rotten. Um, so what you're going to basically end up doing... Dude, I really don't like that. Um, Again, I spent too much time dicking around yesterday, I think, with cartography, but it really is one of the most important things to get down in this game to start with. After you get used to it a bit more, it's not as important, sure, but when you start, you wanna get you you wanna get it down. I believe this here I can use to make a very good medicine that I need. It doesn't make an amazing cure all, I will tell you that. But it makes something that will help you short term. Kind of like a potion. See, mental clarity tonic. So we're going to grab this sample and we are going to go ahead and make that tonic. While we are here, we want to take every opportunity, every opportunity in this game to make things that are going to help your character because you don't know when you're going to run across a, uh... Why do they keep sending me things? Game well better be confirmed. Alright. Clarity Tonic. Self-awareness. The location on map will be real continuously, so that is a very good tonic to have. Um... Now again, in a short amount of time we've done this, we have hit some good landmarks. We haven't gone any place huge yet, and that's the shitty part. But today we're going to sit out there and trek your little hearts out like a bad Joe Denver song, and go on up the mountain trail, blah blah blah, yada yada, and do all that shit. Our goal today is the tent. Uh, yes, the tent across the lake. So we are going to go and walk the ridge of the lake on the shore 
and do some new calculations and open up more areas. Now again, uh, guys, baby go out with some of this stuff because you really gotta watch. Um, I promise you there really is a creature. Now I'm using an official, unofficial community patch. I don't know if maybe they have, uh, let's say this weather. If they have made the creature not appear right away, I don't know if something's changed with that, maybe? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to see, I guess. I really don't know, honestly. To me, I feel like maybe they changed a few things about what the creature is. I'm not sure. Um, I think... I think, I think, though... You know, you're all like, you said you weren't going to do any more of this bullshit. Just hear me out here, hear me out, I know, I'm an ass. Look, trust me. When you have died in like a thousand times in this game, uh, you will learn to appreciate doing things like this. Because now that sucker is on my radar. Now that one there will help me navigate to and deal with the second. The third big head back there. Hopefully I can not uh, oh god that's probably not good is it? Hopefully I can get to we're just I'm going ham today baby. I'm going ham. Don't do it. We can make this push. I see the head but I'm maybe maybe it's truly. It's truly. Be here all week. Much to your chagrin, right? Um So I do apologize, by the way guys, that our, our last plays were a little sporadic this week. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you all. Yes, it was a little self serving. Uh, yes it was due to preparing for the rest of the weekend. Uh, lots of other stuff, and it was due to uh, preparing some upcoming Let's Plays on the board game category. Some of you have talked to me about one more of those, and we have four or five great quality games coming up. Uh, I will finally be able to do one soon that I promise you all since the beginning of the channel. I'm not shitting you, there is one that is that far overdone. But the reason I didn't do it is because I was told by the guy who made the game uh, to hold off until he had basically perfected uh, this version of the rule set and assured me that you all would be much happier with the upcoming rule set for the game he was doing and that came a slasher. Um, but yeah, I basically got asked politely Probably the day I was going to do it, months ago, uh, that this guy has been playtesting, 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 rewriting, playtesting, rewriting, playtesting, rewriting. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a sneak peek at the game in its current form. He's adding in a few extra little things, and then it will be uh, a Let's Play board game that we do. Along with the link, it's a free game where you play slasher slash killer, and uh, mind you, it has disclaimers and warnings, and again, should not be taken as a serious game or something. Uh, it's one of those do not try this at home things, in, in a nutshell, guys, for lack of a better term. So, please out there, be smart. Uh, with that stuff, as he says in the rules of the game, be smart. Um, there is no reset button in real life. And I thought that was pretty cool that the creator of a game like that was basically taking that much responsibility for their work. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I've seen some guys that get a bit douchey about it. No, oh, well, you know, man, if they can't know, then that's on them. Uh, where this dude seems to have genuinely taken some, taken some real credit and said, you know, look, I get it, 
just don't be that dumb, please. And, uh, so I do, I admire that. And maybe I'm dopey for admiring it, but, uh, yeah, I do, I, I admire it. Um, to me, I think it's just something you should say to people is, you know, look, don't. And with a game like that, honestly, you know, don't try this at home. Yes, it's a game where you play as a slasher. Yes, it's going to be offensive to people. Yes, it's going to... Um, but it's not doing anything, for example, that hasn't already been done when it comes down to shocking people. As long as there has been a way to shock people, there have been games to shock people. I don't advise you all swim as much as I am right now. See? 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 The drowning gave me a fever. I didn't drown. He shouldn't drown. But this guy is literally made of, like, rubber. I'm working on it, baby. Use medicine. Let's use the basic. Got to ration this shit out. Alright, let's give him a little water. I told you guys, this guy is a wuss. He does not know how to do shit at all. Now, I don't think this is, uh... Maybe it is the same cabin, I don't know. I do not think so. I think this is a different cabin entirely. I do not think I've been to D1. I believe D1 here is going to end up being some sort of sight. If I literally just walk in a complete another circle, I'm going to bang my head into something. But we're going to see. Um, this has been almost an hour's worth of Let's Play now. And look at how much we're barely scratching the surface of this game, so... There's a lot to do. We haven't even hit the tent. But we will, we will. I want to actually hit the tent. Uh, today, no, I want to hit the tent actually this morning. Uh, so again, keep your landmarks. Repetition, repetition, repetition with research. Research everything, more repetition with research. Pictures. I'll post serious. There is yet another outpost that we know of now for sure. Now, Miasmata is a game uh, that I could say is certainly an interesting game. And yes, we have another map piece. I like map pieces because they fill in blanks for us. Um, along with any Okay, so okay. What I actually meant to do was that. So it's only 10 a.m. I think it's a little early to rest, don't you guys? Should we take a reading out here and see? It's way out there. Somewhere. Okay. Among the last place. Alright. Stop that shit. No one's laughing at your guilt. He says to himself. Hopefully making people laugh. Huh? Huh? Waka waka. Alright. Uh, now. I'm sad, I know. So we got Big Head 1. Badoom. Big Head 2. Badoom. And tent. I do. Not the first tent in the game. So what we're gonna do is go straight to the tent. When we do, I'm gonna see if this is enough of a vantage change, but I don't think it is. I need to, I think I need to be literally in a different uh, angle altogether. 
Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Do you know if that tent show, had shown up on the map? I could have got it, but yes, that is enough to get that tent on our map. So a happy day for us. Um, and again, like I said, you want everything you can grab as far as map markers because they uncover more of the map. They show you where everything is. And we're not trying to kill our poor feeble character here. It is frustratingly annoying how feeble this guy is, but uh, when you start to get the antidotes in you, he, he kind of becomes a bit of a force to reckon with. He is not too shabby at hiding. He's uh, pretty good at stuff. And you see what I mean there? There is our basic medicine. There is nothing for me to make more. Shit. So no lab there. But uh, let's keep going. There's a specimen thing, there's a swamp trail, one of my neighbors has just banged into something. I feel bad because I think one of my neighbors is either really futzy or they are just on a path to see how quickly they can destroy themselves, I'm not sure. But, uh, they do seem to definitely delight in tripping over things, knocking into things, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty bad, I'm not going to lie to you. So I wanted to double check. I wasn't sure if there was a save point in there or not that I missed. There is not. That is not uh, joyous for us. Oh, Jesus. So there we are, guys. Across the lake. I don't think there's going to be anything else that I don't have here on um, uh, I think we've been pretty damn thorough, but I am going to triangulate. Uh, and this time, this is just to see if I open anything up. That's all. Yeah, that area. Let's pop some of that open. Bam! Alright. That's what I wanted there. So triangulation does more than just help you find neat and nifty places. Do not forget at any given time you are here for a mission, and that mission is to find a cure. Whatever the fuck is wrong with you together. Just imagining that. Did you all hear that too? Man, this game makes you paranoid sometimes. I could have swore that I heard. The heartbeat thing go off, but no, it must have just done my footprints. You'll know it when you hear it, and when you hear it, you better get your ass on the ground because. Yeah, believe me when I say it's not uh, a pretty experience. It is quite frightening, really. Um, that is when the suspense part of this game comes in. Uh, if I had to decide what to call this game, I would still say it fits the bill of a survival game. Not in the traditional way, though. This isn't crack this, you need that, hunt this animal. You know, tab A into slot B. This isn't that shit. This is a different kind of game completely. Um, one that I think had a great imagination. Uh, one that I'm sad that it I really did not get. But it should have in my mind. And in my mind, I think it should have definitely... How did I not get to draw a line in? Let's investigate that for a minute, shall we? I feel like this game was horribly underrated, personally. Um, yours truly has played Miyazmata. Beat it once years ago, so I do not even remember, and I'm not saying that so that you all are like, oh, beat the whole thing again. 
I honestly don't remember because I have a horrible acting memory and that is the God on the street. But I do not remember. Um, should I? Yes, yes, of course I should. Lord, but I do not because I am done with this stuff. Um, and as you get older, your memory just sucks. I'm not some like 90 year old man, but I am, in, I am 41, I can tell you. So my memory is not what it used to be. Nowadays, it's kind of a blessing to know that you lived to 41 and haven't been stabbed, shot yet. Am I right? Like you're telling these bad jokes. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Now, please don't stab me. That wouldn't be very pleasant for me. I have been stabbed before. Um, in a fight, and I'm going to tell you now, there's nothing tough guy about that shit. I can say this a lot to people, but yeah, I've, I've had to kind of do a real tough moment before with uh, a younger guy. Maybe in his, like, 16s, he would... Uh, his older brother and he knew each other once, you know. Oh, I heard you used to fight a lot and da da da. And yeah, I was on a very dumb path when I was younger, guys. So take some inspiration from these videos. Laugh, enjoy your life, be cool with each other. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick to people. Life is too short for that shit, and you will regret it. I don't care how stone cold tough you are. A life full of regrets is the worst life you can possibly ever live. Believe that. If you take nothing else I say away from our long sessions of me ranting during Let's Plays, at least uh, if you would be so kind, hear that message. Now I know what you're saying. Bones, what do you do when nothing is on the map? We improvise. So we're going to. This looks like a gorgeous stone temple. So we're going to see where we are. Maybe we can find a pilot. <laughs> did you just see what I did the No, nothing. Oh, piss off. It was funny. Little funny? Come on, guys. Give me something, right? Anyway. Work with me. You're all like, no. Bones, that shit was horrible. It wasn't my best, so I'll admit that. I will admit that. It was not my best. Um, I'm just kind of looking at the surrounds, seeing if I have any landmarks that I know. Uh, now, the way some of this works. I really don't like all the water around me. I think this is definitely going to be detrimental to my poor character's health. Um, these markers, however... One of these has got to be... You come fatigued, you drink a little water, you're alright. You can even, like I said, you notice the clarity of color come back in the game if you drink water at the right time. So, water, water, water. Kind of like the booty song, right? Booty, booty everywhere. Water, water, water everywhere. I know my shit. Um, but no, I mean, it's just... And I don't mean to lecture or anything like that, guys. You know we have fun on this channel, but... In all seriousness, and this is definitely probably the adult, the parent talking in me, but I just don't want to see any of you uh, viewers out there who honestly make what we do worth doing end up in dumb situations or dangerous situations because you ran your mouth or somebody else ran their mouth. You were at a party drunk and then something happens. You, you can't take any of that back. When stuff like that happens, it's done. And if you're the one who did something to somebody, you gotta live with that for the rest of your life. And uh, believe me when I say, I've seen some very tough men cry some very real tears and do some very real jail time over things just like that. 
Uh, I have not been one of them who has got that caught up in the game. And you know the game. If you don't know the game, then don't worry about that. But if you do, then you know what I'm saying when I say keep your head on straight with stuff, don't be dumb. Treat people decent. And like somebody uh, told me once, uh, if you don't burn all your bridges, you never have to look over your shoulder all the time. And I could not agree more with that advice. That is some of the realest, truest advice that I can probably pass on to you all. Jesus, H, I'm hopelessly lost on this damn map. And I can tell you one thing. I'm nowhere near a post break <laughs> Of that I am sure. There was a swamp trail I was supposed to go down. Of course, because your boy Honey Badger does shit his own way, I have totally ignored it. The Honey Badger, aka the Bones, is now in a weird ruin of some sort. I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, we're fighting giant robots. None of this makes sense. No, I'm kidding. You're not fighting giant robots. That is a quote from Avengers. Hawkeye. I'm excited for uh, part two of the new one. Uh, you all give me your comments, man. If you've seen it, you know what I'm going to ask you already. If you haven't, I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to try to... I don't want to say anything in particular that I think is going to come across as too much, but I would like to say this. That's a pretty plant, isn't it? Um, who do you all think it's going to be? I don't want to say more than that. I feel like it's going to ruin it if I do, but who do you think the goat is going to be? The, 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 the end all be all badass. Um, the fixer of things, if you will. Who do you think it's gonna be? I have my own personal convictions about this. So let's put it on record here, shall we? Let's make this fun. I am going to say that I believe Tony Stark is going to be the GOAT. I think he's going to come through with some brilliant stuff. Uh, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I don't really know. Uh, the cactus. Okay, so we've seen these. So these are enhancers, so you use these with things. Rhythm is a dancer. This is a potency enhancer. And that breath didn't rhyme very well at all, did I gotta end this in a minute, guys. Gotta take the pups out. I'll probably end it here at this laboratory. Uh, again, I'll have the link to the game down below. Me is Mata. Okay, so that's another extra strength. I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. If we need medicine, is there a... No, there's not. Well, shiz. I was hoping there was a storage tray, but there is not. I see a bunch of stuff here. Just... Oh, 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 there is. There is. All right. This actually needs some of that. Let's go here. Basic medicine, muscle emphasis drug. This one time use drug. This is what I'm talking about. The emphasis drugs. You want that. Um, they up your stats a bit. Think of them, if you will, as stat boosters, my loves. A spotted lily. We have this spotted lily. We will take this spotted lily over here. Now we shall look up this particular lily. We shall find out that this particular lily is good for the things. What is this? 
Uh, what shall we do with these spotted lily? You will tell me now, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, what have we found? What have we found in our findings of these spotted lily? Well, I guess I don't even need to waste the other basic medicine. We'll just make basic medicine with the spotted lily. So that worked out well, didn't it, guys? Y'all are my lucky charms, these sweet peas. We a lot of work to do in photography. We're going to do that off camera. No, it doesn't matter. This one is a one off. There's a reason I'm not doing a series on this. Well, I could, if you all want, but we've been. You all seem to really enjoy the No Man's Sky series. Uh, I have some great stuff in the works for you guys with that that I want to talk about that I have done. Oh, that was a pain in the ass, because I literally just, I literally just wasted that planet. So let me go. I already had one. I already had one. He's walking like he's fucking drunk. Okay. Did that wrong. Didn't need extra strength. Just needed some normal medicine. And only have one of each, by the way. And that is important to note. So we're going to synthesize this. I like that's a rap song. Let's synthesize this. I also just found out by clicking the mouse we can uh, we can actually skip that, so that's good. Um, there. And more stuff. I'll take everything I can. Oh, map. To mushrooms. Now, one of these I believe is quite important. Um, without trying to give anything away, I'll just say I believe one of them does something very valuable, and that is a gorgeous flower. So we're gonna, let's take this, look at that thing, it's huge. Damn right, I don't even know what the hell it is, but it's pretty. And I, they told me what it, you know what I'm saying, don't be an asshole. Me don't be the asshole, somebody don't be the asshole. I'm surrounded by assholes. It's another movie quote for you. Please be something awesome. That is a big ass plant, man, I'll tell you that. It's huge. Clarity tonic. I will gladly have uh, a mm -hmm. clarity tonic. I do. It's a clarity tonic. Uh, I will still. This one I'm going to pop up here because it's a very pretty plant. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you all. I just frankly want the damn plant. I think it's cool looking. So we'll pop that sucker up there. Uh, we are going to go ahead. And save it here. Like how he's like, my gift to you, madam. Uh, could have done with the map of the area, but this is a nice base so far. Anyways, so this is me as Mata. I hope you all have enjoyed this. I am Bones. Be sure to subscribe, like, I've talked your head off today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, again, uh, your thoughts on the game, post them. And if you haven't already subscribed and told other people about us, do so. Let's create our skeleton army, guys. Let's go. Have a great day.